is, yes, he was, Rocker. He was a great guy. There's no such thing as loyalty. But, you know what's funny? They are encouraging Bradley Bill to leave the homie John Wall high and dry. Now, mind you, the, the word around the campfire is Wall and Bill don't get along and he needs to go. No, that's not true. According to Listen to the Smoke uh, podcast with Stax Jackson and uh, 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 Matt, the aforementioned Matt Bonds, what happens is when, uh, when uh, John Wall's mom was dying recently, Bradley Bill would f- come home after a game and being on the road trip and fly to where uh, John Wall was and sit with him and his mom. You don't do that to people that you don't get along with. Bradley Bill, I believe Bradley Bill and John Wall, if after, you know, John Wall, he gave the history of his injuries and I was bragging on him and now I've become a fan. I think they need to be the next Earl of Pearl Monroe and, and, and uh, 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 Walt Clyde Frazier. They need to be allowed to mature. They got a new management there. Hopefully they can get that thing popping. But miss me with this. Now all of a sudden you want Bradley Bill to leave, but everybody, when, when you when you go play with LeBron, it's a problem. When you go over here, when you Kevin Durant, you go somewhere, it's a problem. But you want Bradley Bill to deserve John Wall because I don't know. It's a clown. It's a clown activity right there. I ain't trying to mess with it. Another thing, this multiplex in Disneyland. I like the idea. But again, I don't want these dudes, like d Great has been saying since this pandemic started, they need to cancel all sports. But that just shows you that d Great has a heart. He is a humane individual. Sports ain't important to him. We love to watch. We love to debate. We love to get for the shits and giggles. But it's not that damn serious because he don't want to see anybody else die. I, uh, the homie DJ Knox, his, he didn't have three or four people pass away. I done had four people pass away. I think Deger had one to two people pass away. So this affects us. 100%. This is in our face. I even had a dude today talk to me about it being phony. He said, don't you agree it's phony? I was like, nah, because a week ago today, two of my homies died. And he was like, oh, yeah, exactly. So all you conspiracy, conspiracy theor- theoreticals out there, miss me with that bullshit, okay? Because all I need you to do, like people like Tommy Loran talk calling people sheep. And she's right. She's actually right because that's the only way she could be popular. The people who are sheep, but I would like to see her walk into one of these funerals with somebody whose child's dead, or their brother's dead, or their husband's dead, or their wife is dead, and you say, Hey, this is a hoax, and watch them people beat the skin off her ass. But that's another situation. Look, I like this get down where they're gonna bring people to this multiplex, and you can probably bring your family, your wife, and your kids, and they're gonna have things quarantined. I can get with that. Any other way is insane. But something that trips me out is this. How Dame Lillard and is talking about it. We ain't got no real shot. I ain't going to play. I'm going to sit there on the bench of my team, but I ain't going to play. Bro, you sound like a goddamn fool. You are not, Dame, you are an excellent ball player, but you, what you are not is LeBron James. What you are not is Kevin Durant. What you are not is the Greek Freak. What you are not is small, smart enough to drive to the hole when that dumbass jump ain't working. So, bro, if your team don't make it, who going to miss the Blazers? If you don't live in Portland, you don't care about the Blazers. So you talking like you make a difference. Bruh, everybody saw you wave Paul George off the court and watch Steph Curry and them wave your ass off the court after being up 16 and 19 a few games. You don't have the type of cachet, Dan. I'm going to need you to relax. I'm going to need you to go to the nearest corner, grab you a chair, and hurry up. Look Get comfortable and because you're not making sense, bro. You're not making sense. You're not that dope in the lead. I see what he means. I just didn't need it. Didn't need to be said. I don't even see what he means, man. Because guess what, bro? When they give you twenty five, thirty million dollars to play basketball, your ass need to be out there hooping. Because if you're going to give me the rest of my $25, $30 million instead of trying to give me 16 or 20 I'm out there hooping my ass off. And guess what, dang? If y'all wouldn't have started off like y'all were 30% retarded, y'all would be in the playoff place. This is a, that's an indictment on your leadership. They're halfway through, it took three quarters of the season for y'all to get y'all act together. You the leader of the team, 
You should have been on point. Y'all always love Michael Jordan. Y'all should have been assholes like Michael Jordan. That's the, and see, that's why when people say, my, and that's the next point, leading to the next point. People got mad at Mon Jackson and he said these players are cut from a different cloth. See, again, this is where media plays these games and try to make Mon Jackson, who's in the media, out to be a bad guy. He said these guys are cut from a different cloth. He actually gave LeBron James a compliment. He said he's a better man than the dudes were back in the day. But a lot of these dudes are worried about their brand. No disrespect to Dan, because I don't think it's a problem of being, uh, creating a rap record. Because, hell, what else? You can't play basketball 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because you're going to turn into Michael Jordan. And that's not a good thing. Because Mike only has basketball. That's why he put out the last dance on that day. That's why he uh, does a whole lot of uh, nonsensical stuff to make himself relevant. Point blank, period. But, you know, he was just saying they cut from a different cloth. And I don't disagree. Uh, uh, he is in a situation to where uh, uh, he is... These guys are in a, they have opportunities to be bigger than the game that they play. They are uh, they are bigger than the game that they play, so they have more opportunities. And when you have more opportunities in the game that you play like basketball, what you have to do is this. You must maximize those opportunities. So when you have to maximize those opportunities, you have to do you do what you have to do and you have to be able to multitask. Back then, all uh, Michael Jordan was eight, was the focus on his basketball. But these dudes are social activists. They're trying to create, make movies. They're trying to do bigger, bigger and better things. I ain't mad at them for that. So, but when Mark Jackson makes the statement that they're cut from a different cloth, because they are. It's not a slight. If you are a excellent basketball, like aforementioned Dame Lillard is, he's an excellent ball player. He's just not LeBron James. He's just not Kevin Durant. He's just not the face of the league type of dude. That can say, I ain't gonna play. Man, let's get the fuck out of here. But, you then you wanna follow up with that bullshit about, oh man, I'm gonna be there for my team. If you're gonna be there for the team, be your ass on the court. And I got my girl for New Max Radio, one of the dope shows in the history of podcasting. Tune in tonight. It is Tasty Talk on New Max Radio. Uh, my main man, the Al Capone of the microphone, man, Deleon. Now they know I had the natural flow. Natural, that F load out natural. What puppy is it, man? They give a dance song. Take that, take that. But I do believe it's a great idea. I am going to enjoy it, right? But it's just, this might be the safest way to do it. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I told you at the end of the day, I told y'all this was coming. This is no secret, none whatsoever. I don't understand what everybody uh, uh, tripping on. With that being said, I'm going to close out the show with this. It's about a two-minute diatribe about Lance Armstrong. Look, a lot of people are running around here faking like they give a damn about Lance Armstrong. Ain't none of y'all giving a high goddamn about no damn bike ride. Man. This is like NASCAR. NASCAR is not a sport. That's track. Y'all literally watching traffic, man. Going out here to the Dan Ryan Expressway and watch the cars. Do like when me and me and my cousins and my brothers as kids and play that's my car. That's what NASCAR is. That's my car fast. But Lance Armstrong, he got this documentary out here like the, the, the Michael Jordan documentary. And at the end of the day, in all of in the simplest form, they big up and achieve it, man. There he is, my main man. Hit the follow on the new match radio. If you want to get alert as soon as that show starts, on oh, my man Mandelion and his lovely wife, girly girl, they come on about an hour after me. It's going to be an awesome show. It is fun. It is interactive. It is adult commentary at its highest form. It is a shitload of fun. I don't miss it. I listen every week. I act a fool in that. Remember, this is not Brian. If you see me in, 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 in uh, a taste of talk, that's H rap. So, things that I say in that, it's all H rap. Don't hold me accountable for the stuff I say. I'm, I'll be sipping on that Shangri La and, and holding my garbage. So, don't be holding me accountable for the stuff that you see in that chat. I'll be, I'll, I'll be an actor, damn fool. I don't know what the fuck But, back to Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong, man. 
I'm not big up in no damn cheetahs. The dude, they clearly show he was doing it. He was ended to the cycling thing. And he stunk at it. He won a national championship, world championship. And after that, they started boat racing. You know, and he started losing. And then he started cheating. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Edna Murphy's in the building. Ladies and gentlemen. You knew she was going to make an appearance. Edna Murphy. Edna Murphy's in the building. AKA Miss A Whole Lot. Because it ain't nothing unique about her. Miss A Whole Lot. But back to the show. Uh, we're looking at a situation where as they, I, I was trying not to go race you. I be trying not to, man. No, I don't. But I be not wanting to go race because I really don't own my own race. But they just big up in this white dude for cheating, man. Really? He's a cheater. What, what, what y'all gonna do with Jose Canseco one day? Because he was cheating too. See, I don't want to see nothing about nobody cheating. Y'all trying to hold him up. Then this dude gets cancer. And they say, you think this contributed to your cancer? Hell yeah, you putting poisons and toxins in your body. You're going to kill yourself. So, I ain't got a whole lot nice to say about that, man. I ain't trying to hear. Lance Armstrong is a cheater. And they on here trying to dig up him. They could have done a whole lot. They could have done one on me. And it'd have been more interesting than a cheater. Because I'm cheating too, man. Because I be cheating. I be using voice enhancement drugs to sound like like H rap. Because I don't want to even talk to me on the phone. I sound like a squeaky rap. But I'm on here. Got the, got the, the deep voice button pushed. So do one on me since y'all just doing cheaters. But uh, on the serious side, I'm not really interested in it. I ain't even watched the whole thing. When I started seeing he was cheating in the first episode, what is that? What else is it to watch? You're a cheater. You're not a champion. You are a cheater. Michael Jordan was an asshole. He disrespected people. He snitched on people. And man, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But Michael Jordan didn't cheat. But y'all want to make a 30 for 30 multi-series, multi-series event over a cheater, but Barry Bonds can't get in the Hall of Fame. Y'all, y'all see the, the hypocrisy in this? But anyway, man, enough with the hypocrisy. I don't even want to continue to go into it. And uh, that's the end of the show, y'all. I really appreciate y'all tuning in. This is Built for This Network. I am HYB. Focus in, come in, support the network. We continue to grow week by week by week on Monday. Oh, and a liar. Thank you, Mandelion. Yeah, he cheated and he killed himself and, and then was lying about it. Pete Rose don't even be in the Hall of Fame either. I'm ready to fight. But I want to shoot out the line out to y'all, line up to y'all, man. Monday mornings, 9 a.m., the number one Chief Rocket Jersey firm is burning it down with the entertainment recap show. Tuesdays, DJ Knox, an hour and a half before this show comes on. Eastern Standard Time. I come on at 5. So that's at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. Well, I, I, man, my math is garbage. 3.30. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, uh, uh, um, DJ Moss and Attack on Hip Hop. And then it's me, HYB, the End of the Bench Podcast, every Tuesday, Wednesday. It's the Backyard Boogie. It's the Backyard hosted by my main man, Big Illinois. Can't get a cough. I got my man, MC Dre MC. I got Anu. I'm also on the show, and our sister, Kim. It is fun. It is political. It is engaging. It's it's a good show. I, I really I would really appreciate it if y'all tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thursday, my favorite show on the network is called I know I host the show. I host two shows, but I host the show. My favorite show on the network is to me it's the best show on the network. It is called Theory of the Culture, hosted by my man Cheers Roundtree and the crown holder, DJ Knox. They talking about hip hop culture, they talking about pop culture. We're talking about life. It's funny. It's informative. It's engaging. They in the chat rooms. They get it in. DJ Knox and Cheers Roundtree. Then later that night, an hour after that show goes off, DJ Mookie being the two-step king. It's house music. It's disco. It's remix. It's a whole bunch of fun. Tune in to my man DJ Mookie being the two-step king. Friday, it is DJ Knox. It used to be called the On Your Way Home Mix, but since we're working from home, it's the Get your ass out that chair and walk to the couch mix. And DJ Knox gonna give you party music. He got personality. He killing the game. 
Saturday at 